Well, here's the address of the Boeing Aerospace Pond, Kent, Washington. This is a great bird watching area. They got the pond with all the birds, different kinds. And on the building, the peregrine falcon sleeps every night. So, we're going to check around. Well, here we are at the Boeing Aerospace Pond. The guys are using the weed eater. There's the reflection of the building in the pond. I'll zoom in on her. She's on her favorite perch. And I think she's right in here. And there she is. She uh, was out, out hunting earlier and got something, so she's sitting up here kind of digesting her food. I'll back off again. Get another view of the pond and the building. We're right on the curve, and there we are. That's the Boeing Aerospace Pond, and that's the Boeing Aerospace Building. Alrighty. Now here's our ducks on the Boeing Aerospace Pond. All in a row. Better hope the peregrine on the building don't see her. She's up here hunting. And this is her pond where she gets her ducks. She'll make a big swing and scare them this way. And when they come over me, that's where she nails them. And that's where we find them in the parking lot then. All plucked and half eaten. And here they are. These could be uh, lunch. Nice mallards going for a swim. And you don't even know they're being watched by the fastest creature on the planet Earth. So hopefully she'll get this female and make a lunch out of it. And there you go. He's flopping his wings. Well, they joined a couple other ones now. Look at that. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's thinking about it right now. Here she goes. Watch this. There she goes. I think she's gonna go. Yep. And away she goes. Well, here we are in the parking lot, right next to the Boeing Aerospace Pond. This is where we come to do our bird watching, and the peregrine just killed a duck she was eating on it. It's a fresh kill. And she's now finished her meal and has flown back up on top of her ladder to digest it. So This is a fresh kill for the day, another duck. And she's been getting several ducks here. and. Uh, we're right next, like I say, to the Boeing Aerospace Pond, so she had great luck here and a good meal. So we'll go back and check on her now. Here's our Peregrine Falcon back on the Boeing Aerospace Building after her nesting cycle. Just down from the KOA campground in Kent, Washington, down by the Boeing Pond, they call it. There we are. See her eyes and all her wonderful colors, the feathers blowing in the breeze there. And she's pretty content. Looks like she's got a pretty good sized crop, so she ate. And she's been wintering out here on this building for several winters now. And we always come down, and that's our entertainment and bird watching in the winter. So we're very happy to see her back. All right, well, we'll see what other birds are in the area. She was on the corner of the building calling and she sailed over here and she was calling and then now we're waiting to see if she's going to go take her bath. But definitely making the e-chirp noise. Like there you go. They do that when they hand off food and that's their mating call also. So she's looking for her mate. He must be back in the area. How interesting is that? Now here's our peregrine falcon in the water thinking about taking the bath. She waded out to where it's halfway deep. She was on her favorite light pole. There she got a little drink. And I think she's wanting to take a bath. And I want to make a movie of it. Oh yeah, she's bobbing in there now. Let's see what happens here. Scratching up a little bit. She uh, roosts every night on the Boeing Aerospace Building, and uh, oh yeah, look at her bathe now, bobbing around a little bit, having a good time. Yeah, 
she was, obviously had caught something to eat earlier a little bit. She was on her light pole, and I'd made a small move in. Oh, yeah, look at her bobbing and splashing now. And she decided to fly down here and take a bath. I'm all excited about it. I've been filming the Peregrine Falcon here at the Boeing Aerospace Building for a few years. I've never caught her bathing, and I actually got fairly close now, so. We're having filtered light. This should come in very good. See that big eye she's got there. And she's actually used to people. Where she roosts, they're working around there with uh, road equipment and digging, and the, the noise doesn't seem to bother, so. Oh yeah, she works really well with the people. I'm actually shooting from my car window. I have a window mount from my camcorder. So the car serves as a blind. I can get fairly close and uh, I've got a clamp to the window and she's here just taking a little bath and looking around. Actually, she's making a very good movie for us. She's not really getting into the bath vigorously, but she is bathing. Yeah, she's fluffing around a little bit. This is the female. We're still waiting for the male to return here. He winters out here too, but he's late this year, so we are a little bit concerned about that. There she's getting another little drink. Maybe she'll bob in the water again. They like to stay cleaned up because they're a raptor. They eat meat, and blood is a contaminant, so they need to stay uh, fastidious and clean. So it helps keep down on the diseases. Well, I think we're going to call that good then. We've got a pretty good movie here of her, and it doesn't look like she's going to get really into her bath too much. Just a little cleanup. So we'll call that good then, and enjoy the video. Still finishing up here. Just a working in there and getting it all squared away. See what she's going to do here. Working on that wing now. She looks pretty content. Now she's going to do the breast feathers a little bit. We like it watching when she preens. Keeps her feathers all oiled up, all straightened out. She likes this perch. It must be a cap on it. It must be comfortable on her feet because she sits there every day. I mean, she just likes it there. Alright, looks like she's kind of going to get under her wing now, see? There you go, draw them through her beak there and get them all straightened out, and getting under there. It's a peregrine falcon in the middle of a preening session. 